As our world becomes increasingly globalised, we're told by experts that we live in a global village. But there's one problem with this idea. Language. Today, there are over 6,000 different languages spoken in the world. So in the future, how are we supposed to have fun if we can't communicate with each other? Here at Karlsruhe University in Germany, Professor Alex Babel and his team have spent over 15 years developing speech-to-speech -speech translation technology. A translation is, of course, an enormously complicated task. Current machine translation still has a lot of problems in coming up with goofy translations, but we're seeing now quite a bit of a change. In Professor Babel's multilingual future, finding yourself lost in Spain, for example, and unable to speak the language might now be less bewildering, thanks to this pocket translation device. So the way it works is that somebody takes the pocket translator, uh, speaks it in, in their Excuse own me? language. Can you tell me the way to the city center? The system recognizes and does the translation, and out comes an audible sound in the other language. Perdón, puede decirme el camino al centro de la ciudad. Siga este camino y gira a la izquierda en el semáforo. Please go ahead this way and turn to the left at the traffic light. The device can translate between English and Spanish, and with relief workers and military personnel in mind, also between English and Iraqi and English and Thai. Your arm probably broken. The PDA is also capable of reading and translating foreign script. You just point the internal camera at the unfamiliar alphabet and click. The pocket translation system is ideal for what Professor Vable describes as limited domain situations like navigation and simple interactions. But what about situations which require wider and more sophisticated use of language? Here, Professor Fabel is demonstrating the lecture translation system. He delivers a lecture in English, and the translation appears behind him in Spanish and German, with only a one-sentence delay. Well, welcome very much. We appreciate that you can come here and be here for this lecture that I'm presenting here on some of the latest breakthroughs we have in speech translation. In the lecture translation system, we're really moving from the domain-limited systems of the past to domain-unlimited systems of the future. Uh, but we want to be able to do anything, uh, broadcast news, parliamentary speeches, telephone conversations, and so on. First of all, there are some tremendous technical difficulties. We have to deal with open vocabulary and an open speaking style. Speech is... One of the challenges of any translation are words which have more than one meaning. From a large amount of data or from the usage of people... Translation is ambiguous. If we're, if we're, which word do we choose? In English, the word bank could mean two things. It's a financial institution, but it could also be the river bank, the side of the river. Well, in German, you, rec you translate the one as bank and the other one as ufer. The system overcomes this by establishing the context of usage. It does so with statistical computer programs applied to its own huge language databases and by accessing words on the Internet. So these statistical learning techniques basically exploit enormous amount of contextual data to pick the most appropriate translation that you might encounter in the real situation. Now, translating such ill-formed sentences is difficult from a translation point of view. But, but the clever thing about this system is its delivery. One method uses targeted audio, in which this array of small ultrasound speakers delivers a narrow sound beam of audio to an individual listener or listeners. The other method is via a pair of goggles. What we're doing in that case is to produce the text of the output translation as display in heads-up display goggles that the user can wear. Translation goggles allow you to listen to the original speech in the original language, but watch in terms of text the translation as subtitles. But if these systems seem cumbersome, 
In the future, we won't even need pocket-sized devices or goggles. Still at prototype stage, this is the face of future communication. Peter here is speaking in English, and his words are being translated into German. What you'll see here Peter doing is he has these sensors in the face that capture the electrical signals from the muscles. You see it as he's moving the lips and the mouth, it generates signals here in the back. We can recognize those as words, translate the words into a new language, and then produce audible sound or audible speech in the other language. Dieser Prototyp übersetzt lautlose Sprache. If we discover what people are saying and how they're thinking and that we can in fact communicate them and, with them and, and interact with them, it opens a new world. The non-audible and the lecture translation system are still in development. But with a pocket translation device due to hit the streets sometime in 2008, soon all the benefits of foreign culture, once denied because of language difficulties, What do you recommend today? will be ours to enjoy. We have steak with potatoes.